What is the difference between the duodenal switch and the SADS surgery? Well, both of the surgeries are malabsorptive surgeries. Both of the surgeries, they begin with the gastric sleep. But basically the main difference is the anastomosis. The SADS or a single anastomosis duodenal ileal surgery or switch, it's basically uh, rerouting the intestine. But the difference with the, between the, du, the DS or the normal DS and the SADS is that the first anastomosis will, will basically on the same section, it will be on the duodenum. The first portion of the duodenum will be bypassed with the rest of the intestinal tract. But then the second anastomosis, the one that we attach the biliopancreatic limb or the alimentary limb on the bottom of the stomach to form the common channel is not done. So we don't have a second anastomosis. We have a, just one anastomosis. So what we do to have the proper malabsorption? Well, from the iliosecal bulb, that is the large intestine, we measure 250 centimeters. And then we create something different than with a duodenal switch. It's what we call the afferent loop and the afferent loop. That means basically that it will be a hole on the intestine and it will be attached to the first portion of the duodenum. The food will come through the stomach, will be restrictive because you already have a gastric sleep and then it will go to the first portion of the duodenum when we do an a single anastomosis and then it will go to the afferent loop and it will go to the rest of the intestine. So you just have 250 centimeters of absorption. That 250 centimeters of absorption depends on the length of the intestine of the patient. That means that if you have 750 centimeters and then we're attaching the final 250 centimeters of absorption to the duodenum, you just have absorption on the last part of the intestine. The, the other 500 centimeters, they're not getting any food. So hence, they're not getting any absorption of nutrition. So you don't have protein, you don't have vitamins, you don't have carbs, you don't have fat. The good thing about that is the absorption will be less, but it will be not as aggressive as 100 centimeters of a Kahneman channel. But the other good thing is because we're not opening all the tissues to reroute the intestine on the bottom, that means that you don't have a second anastomosis on the intestine, there's more uh, safe to have to avoid having internal hernias so even that the surgery first of all it's a simplified surgery that means a little bit less surgical time because you don't have the same uh, rerouting of intestine and you don't have basically the second anastomosis so surgery time it's a little bit less that means safer surgery especially on high BMI cases when we cannot work very properly on the lower intestine because of abdominal fat, this is very, very, very important. The other part is that you're not having an, uh, one anastomosis. That means that the risk of opening the Peterson space and opening the mesenteric bridge, it's basically none. So the risk of internal hernias when you lose all your weight, it's quite different, so it's very low, or you don't have that risk. On the other hand, the malabsorption will be less, that means that you don't have all the symptoms with a very aggressive duodenal switch. So it's a simplified surgery that in some cases, especially either we can have on patients that they already have a gastric sleeve and we're doing a SADS as a second step, or patients that they want to keep the weight down over the years without all the bad symptoms or without having to be very careful with the malabsorption. So the main difference between a gastric uh, sleep with a SADS or a gastric sleep with a, with a full DS, it's the second anastomosis. The first one, it'll be basically the same. We need to do a gastric sleep, we need to dissect all the tissue, we need to cut the duodenum, and then we need to do the first anastomosis, that is the duodenal ileal anastomosis. So in both of the surgery, you have that surgery. In the SADS, you don't have 
the last anastomosis, there is the, the common channel forming anastomosis.